Hello and welcome to the highlights of the second and the final T20 international between Zimbabwe and India played at the Harare Sports. Zimbabwe captain Elton Chigumbura, stand-in skipper Sikandar Raza won the toss and elected to bat. Apart from Chigumbura, Neville Mavidza also missed out from the lineup. Sean Williamson and Malcolm Waller made their way in the final 11. India made only one change. Debut hey. It's going to be Bhuvaneshwar Kumar starting from the cycle pure end for India. Fantastic line again. That's what balled again. Forced away by Chamuchimba, but he's got good willow on that. It's going to go away for four. But fantastic timing there. And uh, well placed as well. Short. Pulled away. Nobody back on the deep square boundary. Hamilton Masakadza helps him. Put it away with ease. It doesn't look like he got it all as well as he would have liked to. Looks like he got more of the bottom edge of the bat. Oh, great shot. It's gone all the way for a six. Fantastic strike. Swung it in. He hasn't quite got that ball as full as he would have liked. Looking for the Yorker. Hasn't got it. Hamilton Masakadza gets under that and swings it beautifully over the deep mid wicket boundary. Should be gone. And here's the intention was to run it down. Sandeep Sharma, he claims his first scalp in international cricket. Hamilton Masakadza. Zimbabwe's short. Pulled away by Chamuchibaba. Lots of time. That ball just set up beautifully. In the air, but there's no fielders back there. He might not have got enough on it to get it to the boundary. Actually, I think it'll just trickle in. So, Sikandar Raza butts boundary count. It's gone big. He hasn't caught all of that, but it's going to be safe. And uh, it should run away for four as well. So, a bit of width from Stuart Binney. A little bit of width, as Dirk Valun says, and that will uh, give him what he needs to free his arms and to get it up and over extra cover and away for four although he didn't get all of it it's still with and it's in the air third man's there takes the catch Raz has hit it straight well short and wide going for the square cut but uh, unfortunately for Raza but he picks out the fielder at third man he loves that shot but in this particular occasion it's been <laughs> Good looking shot. Chamuchibaba. Timing on that. So important to put the bad ball away. And he managed to do that on that occasion. Finds the gap, picks up four. Busy partnership, 37 long. And that man Patel would like to stop that. And as I say that, use of the feet and he just bunts it back to the bowler. Yeah, not what the Zimbabweans needed. An easy return coach. It was good bowling. Magza Patel, he saw him coming and he's dropped a little bit shorter. Reduced it, the false shot by Sean Williams. And innings of 17 comes to the end. 85 to 3. Shot out of the off stump and cut away through covers for a fantastic boundary. Shibaba occasion. Change of pace, trying to bowl that slower ball, bounce it, dig it into the pitch. But it didn't work out for him, and Chamo Chibaba able to flat bat it through the cover area. Calls of two, but he'll get four. Lovely piece of timing. Second boundary. This is away for four. Again, bowling short on that occasion. Not much of room, but then superbly timed. He's in uh, good form. He's getting runs on uh, both sides of the pitch, and uh, again, latching onto it. Catch it! Hey. Cries of catch it just eludes Achinka Rahade. Who had extra cover and away for fourth. Look at that, just taking his uh, front foot slightly away from the line, giving himself a bit of uh, room to play through the offside with the spin and fantastically executed through covers for a boundary. He was in very good form, moves to 49, one shot. It's in the air through the point region and again, the point is inside the 30-yard circle and it's yet another boundary 
for Chihuahua. A dive in vain from Stuart Binney. No third man up in the circle, as you mentioned. Vinky, and as soon as he got it in the gap, was always going to run away for four. Too much width. When your third man's up in the circle, you don't want to be bowling there. You need to be at the stumps. That was a call, and it's given out. How good was that decision? Was the bat in, involved in it? Or was it just hit the, the top of uh, the fourth wicket? This will give us a better indication of uh, what it was. I think it's uh, pad. Hit him on the knee roll. Not much you can complain about there, Charles Coventry. On the crease, stuck on the crease. It looked like it was going to cannon into middle and leg stump, I reckon. Struggled out there today, Charles Coventry. Gone for four. Big shot in the deep. Man coming around, but he's not going to stop that. One bounce for four. Chamuchi Baba continues on his merry way. Big shot by Irvin. Murov was up in the circle. We spoke about how he needs to support Chamuchi Baba. Length delivery by Mohit Sharma. And a fantastic delivery. We spoke about how the captain looks to the men with the most skill at this point. The slow deliveries on this occasion. Chamuchi Baba maybe just yorking himself. Yeah. Chamuchi Baba just walking across the stumps there, probably trying to find the gap in the onside field. Beautifully bowled Yorker. He would have got the better of most international batsmen. But Chamunoro Chibaba, fantastic once again for Zimbabwe. Unfortunately, can't push through. And bowled him. Beautiful Yorker once again. Pugneshwa Kuma, right up, not being able to keep that out. Fantastic delivery from Bhuvneshwar Kumar off the inside edge, rattling into that off stump. End of the innings for Craig Irvin. He's gone for seven, scores 139. Short, he's pulled that away. Man coming under it, brilliant catch. Aksha Patel takes the man. About skill, he bowled a Yorker first up and he bowled a slow ball. Now the bouncer to Prosper Atea, he has the field set for this specific ball. Axel Patel, he picks up a very good catch, running in, good commitment. It's the end of the innings for Prosper Atea, he's gone for one, the score is 140. Last ball of the innings. And beautifully bowled. So that'll be it. Zimbabwe winning the toss, electing to bat here this afternoon in the second and final. 145 for seven. He has only one person to talk about there, Chamuji Baba, 67. Not a lot of support from everywhere else. 16 extras. The bowlers, they were good again. Very good economy. Morning to you wherever you are in the world watching this broadcast live from Arari Sports Club. And it's a very, here we are, afternoon to Vinkatesh Prism. Those changed on the, that's found the gap, that'll run away for four. So, uh, dot ball to start, and then uh, Ajinka Rahani, he was uh, since... Absolutely, isn't it? Just helping himself through with the with the angle. And uh, the short fine, uh, fine leg fielder right Bob inside Brown. the circle. Just has to uh, place it. Yeah, there's a mix-up there, could be out. And curtains for uh, Ajinka Rahani. The crowd will tell you that Zimbabwe's on the sure. ball. Down the leg side again, he turns it, wants the single. Have a look how much time he had. He's had a look, just lobs it to the keeper over the top. And uh, Ajinkriani nowhere to be seen. It's a big Zimbabwe, a great start. Ajinkriani goes for four. India, four for one. That was uh, pitched up and there was a room, a bit of room for Robin Utapa to play on top of the hit pretty well by Robin Utapa. No intention to keep it on the ground. It's been a pretty good over from the opening ball line. And again, this one won't be stopped either. Back to back, consecutive scores for uh, boundaries for Robin Utapa. And uh, the length, length was the key here. It was pitched up to him and uh, Robin was quick to latch onto it and play over the mid-wicket fielder. 
That's in the air, he won't stop that either. So uh, you'll need to change these bowlers, will uh, the captain rise up? Because line on the on the leg stump and the length up to him, and there's no fielder in the deep on the onside. Short and uh, easy as you like on this wicket. We saw India bowl a lot of short deliveries, and to be fair, they got the first one was good on this occasion. The he dragged the length back and uh, was quick to transfer his weight onto the back foot. Look at that shot. Two straight from uh, our man uh, Christopher Mpofu, and you heard. Could be one more. It's going between the deep midwick and a deep square leg fielder. Yet another boundary. Yeah, unfortunately, not good enough from Zimbabwe. They're not getting enough balls in the right areas. Short from Chibaba. One bounce over the boundary down at long leg. Consistent as they would have liked. 144 runs on the Dane Flea away when given the opportunity. Short again, sliding down the leg side. Picked up easily by the batter. Slogged away. Over mid wicket. That's the maximum. Up and down the crease. And brings up the 50 for India. 52 for one now. We're only in the sixth over. Reverse sweep finds the gap. It's beautifully played. We have it very nicely played. Well watched by Robin Utapa. Finds the gap between the short third man and the backward point. And the ball runs away down that hill. And he's bowled him. Graham Creamer. So oh, fantastic stuff from a Zimbabwe point of view. The next one are coming into the attack. And that is the end of, uh, of Murli Vijay. He was struggling. Murli gone for 13. It's 57 for two. Ah! Huge appeal. He's been given. My first impression was that ball might have just been sliding down the leg side. Manish Pandey playing on the... Pitching in line. And... Uh, that might have just been sliding down the leg side, I think. Nonetheless, Manish Pandey goes for zero from three balls. Straight back at Sean Williams. Beautiful catch. And uh, truck firmly back at him. And that is a brilliant catch. And you can see the excitement and the joy. He's not one who shows a lot, but he's been going like a train at the top of the order. He's gone for 42. Very... Pushing for two. Wall weighted into the gap. Run out opportunity. Exit. His wall short of his ground. Mazarabani releases the ball quick to turn the game. And that's the end of Kaide Yadav. He's gone for five. The score is 69 for five. Use of the feet, over cover, fantastic looking shot by Stuart Binney. And then gets it over extra cover, glorious. Cuts it away this time, back on a point. zaraban has got some work to do, he doesn't get there. Use of the feet this occasion, use of the crease and the pace of the delivery. Keep it tight and make sure that they ball in line with the stumps and yes. Sanjil Samson was the batsman and he was fortunate. The ball. Catch it. And it's in the air. Has he taken it? It's a wonderful catch from Chibaba. Chibaba was the fielder at long off. I uh, can't see any reason why this won't be given out. Chamo Chibaba, he's a good fielder, he's a good athlete. He's uh, done well today. And for me, that's an outstanding catch. No doubt about it. That goes into the wicket. India loop. It's 105 for six. Well, ball, it's in the air.
and he's gone. Malcolm Walla running round on the long on boundary. For Samsung, 19, scores 117 for seven. Oh. Fu. Well bowled. Squeezed out to third man. And he picks up a boundary. Swung away, caught on the deep mid wicket boundary by Sean Williams. Eddie, you spoke about how he loves to hit the ball over that area. An extra meter on that. Taram Zarabani with that low full toss, but a good innings of third. Well bowled by Kristen Pofu. And there it is. Run out the Indian batsman Christopher Mpofu. Excellent Yorker. Under pressure, Charles Coventry very aware that they're going to take another bye. Tosses it back to Christopher Nine. And he just nudges it onto the onside. And as you say, academic gets the ball in and Zimbabwe. It was tough work for India to get any momentum going, but Robin Utapa, he stood out. 42 of 25. And then a 24 from Stuart Binney. Impressive from Zimbabwe, just two extras. In the bowlers, they were excellent.